In this demonstration, we will set up a monthly occurrence for the account, print out invoices, show you how it's marked in the transaction file, and then how you can subsequently either mark it as completed, enter payments, or print out statements. Let's begin by selecting the account, Circle Realtors. Notice they have a setup charge here for monthly service for $60. I've set it for October 4th. I'll just hit OK. And I'll repeat that for all of my accounts with their regular scheduling services. When you're ready to print out your invoices or service slips, just go to the Routes menu choice and say Print from Calendar Schedule. I'm going to pick Tomorrow. Hit OK. Came up with 20 accounts. But the thing that you should notice here that it's automatically going to add to the transaction file after printing the route. These settings are set over here under route defaults. It's set to use the invoice numbering from the system, automatically charge the route here. Um, it's not printing out any previous balance on the route sheet. You can if you want to. And this can mark it as pending. Um, I'll uncheck that to actually make it. Um, charge the transaction file after it prints and I'll print OK here. Notice it's running through the accounts and it will produce a server slip for each of those accounts. Likewise it's going to here's your accounts, here's the service to be done and it just goes through and marks everybody with their appropriate charges. Now what that's done, it's actually put it into the transaction file. So if I select that first account that we were looking at before, you'll notice that this line has just been added. And now the, the customer's balance has been updated as well. If you needed to print out statements for these accounts, you would simply do select all, and then all the people that had a balance would be, uh, it would print out a statement for them. Notice how I went to produce bills here. I'll just do that one more time. I select my accounts, then I go bills, produce bills, use print as statement, set the date range for what I want. In this case, it's the month of August. Hit OK. And now a statement will be produced for this account. It has that monthly service charge that we just saw there. He has tax, and then it comes out. So again, just to recap, you go into the account, you set up their standard charges for their frequency for the billing. When you're ready, you go to Routes, Print from Calendar Schedule, pick the date range you want to print, make sure you have the route default set up to automatically charge the transaction file for those accounts, and then when you print out those service slips, it'll be added to the transaction file. If you needed to add it to the transaction file manually, you would just go into transaction file, put in the code, and press enter for the service that's to be provided. It'll pr bring up their price automatically. You could change the date if you needed to, and then you're done. Thank you very much.